So yeah, um, Colin Kaepernick's been in the news again, um, and he's been getting a lot of scrutiny on Twitter from uh, a lot of different people. Uh, President Trump included in that, uh, Sarah Palin, and many others. Basically, um, what he's been doing is he's been trying to give to charity. How dare he? So um, yeah, he gave money to uh, Meals on Wheels, which uh, the new government has just defunded. So. Luckily, yeah, I was looking at because you know a lot of American football players, when they're in the news, it's usually for football or terrible, terrible, terrible human behaviour, dog fighting, punching your wife in lifts, that kind of thing. But Colin Kaepernick is not. And without further ado, let's uh, let's get to my piece. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all genders. Please sit, stand, or kneel for the national anthem performed by Louis Devey. Clap if you want, like, you know. <laughs> All right, stop it. <laughs> so, I'm not going to perform the national anthem, you'll be glad to know. Um, not perform the national anthem of the US or any other country because uh, national anthem is basically a favorite song for an entire nation. And it's one that we didn't even get to vote for or choose or have any say in whatsoever. Um, my favorite song is uh, Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. Anybody know? Oh, one shift, Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. Um, I'm sure that, uh, what was his name, Rory, who was on earlier, who did the Drake portrait, would be a big uh, Drake fan. But um, no, Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. And imagine if I asked you to stand Every time you heard the song Trap Queen by Fetty Wap, I mean, it's unreasonable and a bit fucking ridiculous, isn't it? So yeah, which brings me to why I'm here today. <laughs> I'm here today to say to you, don't protest. It's simple, don't protest. But Lewis, what if you're uh, oppressed? What if you're marginalized? What if you're a pro athlete with a uh, platform to make genuine social change for the greater good? Definitely not. Colin Kaepernick protested, and uh, before he did protest, I hadn't heard of him either. Uh, but he did, he protested, and everyone lost their minds. Everyone. You see, he didn't stand up when America's favorite song was playing. No, not Trap Queen by Fetty Wap. That's my favorite song. No, the song in question was the uh, national anthem. Um, and like I said before, everyone lost their mind. White people, white people lost their mind. Um, yeah, they did. They got very upset. He said, I'm not gonna stand up to show pride in a flag that oppresses black people and people of color. Next, flag, uh, next slide, please. Flag? Slide. They said, hope you take your ACL. Next game, stupid nigger. Notice the hard ER on that. Ooh. Horrible. And uh, next slide, please. And that uh, complete disrespect for our flag and our country isn't speaking out. It's simply disrespect. Wrong slide. But Thomas Jefferson didn't say that, but he did own slaves. Uh, <laughs> Colin Kaepernick actually said that he wished that they treated police brutality like they're treating me for standing up against it. Because at the time of his protest, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, and Eric Garner, just to name a few, had all lost their lives at the hands of police officers and the police officers in question faced little to no repercussions. Because in the land where all men are created free and equal, uh, free and equal, free and equal. Thomas Jefferson definitely said that, and he definitely owned slaves, just to, just to really hammer that point at home. Um, yeah, it's obvious that white men are created freer and equal, uh, uh, so yeah. 
So, pretty much what uh, brings me here to say, uh, pretty much brings me on to uh, what I came to say. Um, I think I'm missing a slide, I dropped one earlier. Ooh. It doesn't matter anyway, it's not important. Time's up, but I would just like to invite you to stand on your metaphorical desk, like Ethan Hawke in that Robin Williams movie, the one with the white kids in the private school, and say, Kaepernick, my Kaepernick. Thank you.